Hi, well we're doing some general blacksmithing today and it's hedge laying Phil and myself and I'm going to be making a coat hook and Phil is going to be making a, I suppose you'd call it a peg knife really um, a rather grand cutting knife for cutting out spoons and other things like that I guess What's it going to be used for? Tent pegs Tent pegs, just being told it's going to be used for tent pegs Not that I need anymore <laughs> There you are like it might be quite a challenge, challenge yes. <laughs> um, the current yeah. performance. Oh, should be warmer. You're going to fold, fold them out of the way and then draw them down? Yeah. Phil and I hadn't done any blacksmithing for probably about a year actually but we had a good heat on the forge and Phil is just knocking out the hook here for his peg knife. I was making a coat hook and just separating off a couple of strands to make like a heart shape for the coat hook. And here Phil is about to hot cut off, a, this was an old auger tool, uh, it has snapped off so he's making a peg knife out of it. Rather ingenious but actually looking rather good. So hot. The coat hook's going in my wife's office, so she needs somewhere in the winter to hang up her coat. I'm just cooling the tips of it there so that they don't burn when I put it back in the forge, but I'm going to do a sort of bend on the main body of the bar. Phil is gainfully and manfully here, <laughs> hot cutting more, he's really getting on well with that. This is where I ought to be the striker, you know, and we have us both hitting it. That's looking good. So though. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm right-handed, so that would be. The, so I want that to be the flat side there, which it more or less is. Trying to get see. quite some lower Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's very enjoyable blacksmithing away. Things weren't going 100% right for me. Um, I did actually slightly burn one of my tips. Uh, wasn't concentrating enough, probably talking away too much as usual. But no, it's very enjoyable and it's a very nice little setup there. We've got the forge going with a nice anvil. And the um, have the alpacas, which I think I've shown in a previous film as well. And in a minute I will actually show you about herding ducks. Phil with his peg knife, I mean this was an old like auger tool and he'd cut the end off and he was just shaping up the blade. And in a minute you'll also see he's actually hardening the blade in some vegetable oil. So he'll put it into that tin can on the ground and you'll see it flaming as he actually hardens the metal. He's going to temper it in the oven. Amazingly, the bar does just fit in his oven. I'm just doing the top of the coat peg there with the heart. Oh, that's the hardening with the flames. Always very dramatic. I think that needs to go back in for a bit more. Yes, there you are. And there's a little bit of tapping on the top of the coat hook. So yeah, both quite busy at it. Nice number having two people, not too many. Enjoy the chat as well. Yes. Do you have a bit of rag? Well, here's my final coat hook. Not the best in the world, but we'll live with that. <laughs> I haven't done any blacksmithing for a while and I think it's showing. But it's great fun <laughs> and it's enjoyable doing it. Particularly with Phil, so it's always humour and we've always got the lovely dogs as well. Or one. 
Hmm. Yes, it's quite hard, isn't it? They've been escaping, have they? Or no, the fox? It's a fox. Come on, Eric and Ernie. Come on. You just stand behind them and they show where they're going. Okay. Yeah, they're there, can you? Do you get much fox trouble? or? We've got one young adolescent male fox. Yeah. A really nice looking foxy. And he just prowls around, the pack is chasing off. And <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come on, dog. That's it. <laughs> right. I like the way they just go through the flower bed. Oh, they don't have any, yeah. No, there's no chicken. In there they go. They're very well trained, aren't they? They go jump in the ponds. Are they? It's like pond, it sounds a bit yeah. random than it really is. Yeah, oh, lovely. Good old splash. Ah. And they just sit there till morning. <laughs> really? So, this is Phil's rather impressive clog knife here coming along. He's going to the hooky bit with the hook on the end. He's going to weld it to the back spine here. And hey presto, out of nothing, there'll be one very effective knife for making tent pegs and things. And that looks a nice blade on there. Rather clever. The next day, Phil sent me this rather impressive picture of his finished peg knife. And it really does look good and apparently it's been cutting really well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Bye bye.